Well, when most people hear yoga, they think a group of women stretching and breathing. <laughs> Okay. But now it's being used to help professional athletes win the big game. Here with her power yoga workout is fitness expert Gwen Lawrence. Hi. Gwen, hi. Hey, Gwen. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here, Gwen. Thank you. Thank you. So what, what is power yoga and how does it differ from normal yoga? Well, I, it is a normal yoga, mm -hmm. but over my years of experience, I've boiled down the art and expression of yoga into exactly what athletes need mm -hmm. per position, per sport. Everybody's going to need a different thing. Okay. Right? So I have six basic principles of mm. balance, strength, flexibility, mental toughness, mm. mental toughness. focus, okay. and breathing. All right, so who are some of your celebrity athletes or teams you've helped out with this technique? I'm working 14 seasons now at the New York Giants. Wow. I've been, I work with the Knicks the Red Bulls for nine seasons, um, the Rangers, and some Yankees. Wow. So wait, how do you go about getting these big, bulky men to <laughs> assume some of these complicated <laughs> positions? I'm a mother. Your mother. Uh, it's like, come on, yeah. baby. I you get know it done. <laughs> you know how, to, you know how to whip them into shape. Right. That's right. Okay. And somehow, I don't know, the rookies come in and they're as old as my oldest son now. So somehow right. along the line, it became very easy for me to to deal with them. But okay. you know, some of these guys are used to, you know, all of the, the pushing and mm -hmm. pulling and weights banging and, and, sure. and yeah, weights, but sure. this is, requires more, it's, they're more delicate positions, if you will. So how do you sure. convince them that this is something that can actually benefit them on the field? Right, what, I'm seeing a trend lately that they're coming in from colleges now, these professional athletes, and having done it in college now. So I don't have to do as much convincing as mm. I used to, but I do try to tell them. One of my one of my best visualizations for them is when I when I liken it to a car, then they mm. understand it better, okay. right? So if your body is imbalanced and mm -hmm. sports in and of themselves create imbalance because they're one side dominant, right? Mm -hmm. Other than maybe a swimmer. Right. You know, if you're a pitcher, if you are playing hockey, you have you have one side that you're always working on. So it creates imbalances. And my job is to bring them closer to being more symmetrical. You're never going to be hmm. the same because you're righty or lefty. Okay. But when you're out of balance like this, it's like their car. You wouldn't live in New York and take a road trip to Florida, let's mm -hmm. say, with your car misaligned, right? Okay. That's true. So this is going to help. what happens. Yeah, it's going to be some bad stuff happening. Right. The tire will <laughs> so blow. Clunk, clunk, chink, chink, chink. Right. Exactly. So yeah. will this help players have less injuries then? Yes, that's, that's okay. one of my main goals. Uh -huh. um, injury prevention, being more proactive rather than mm -hmm. reactive, and making sure that they're their bodies can respond to their duties on the field, okay. let's say. And also, we do work that mental toughness aspect and breathing. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, even my pros get nervous before games, mm -hmm. and they need some techniques. They get um, exercise-induced asthma. So they need some oh, some coping wow. mechanisms. Yeah, okay. you don't think of that when you think of pros. No, you think they got all. it all, but they, yeah. they have some issues too. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show us some moves. All right, let's get to it. Okay, what do you do so with I think these I designed athletes? some things today that we're going to work on the hips. Okay. Hips are one of the hips one of the, mind, the best. Oh, that's okay. good. <laughs> Wrong workout. That's hit. another whole right. segment. Um, yeah, when the hips are open and supple and flexible in all directions, and mm -hmm. when these athletes are cutting and moving and really impounding, impounding themselves on, right. on whatever their field of play is, the more open and supple the hips are, the less impact and injury on the knee. And there's been mm. orthopedic studies that show this. So I take a lot of time to work on their hip flexibility in all mm -hmm. directions. Okay. So the Let's first one is one of the most basic things, and you might have done it in yoga before. It's called Ooh. pigeon pose. Okay. All right. Pigeon we pose. just got down to the floor, and you're ooh and ah. Oh, I know. Right? I'm hurting already. <laughs> okay. All right. Pigeon so let's pose. take the right leg, and you're going to bring it forward. Okay. And now, instead of it being 12 o'clock, and neither of you have any knee injuries that I should know about. Correct? Nope. Okay. Not yet. So instead of it being <laughs> 12 o'clock, you're going to bring that knee out about 2 o'clock. Okay. okay. And then this gives you the ability to someday have that lower leg parallel to the front edge of your mat. Wow. But it is what it is. Let's no try force. that. Okay? I could do that now. What? Okay. <laughs> no stuff. force. So right. the other thing about yoga is you got to check the ego at the door. Oh, I know. Okay? Like, do you deal with that a lot with the football players? Like, I could do that. Yes. Yeah. They're like, if you could do it, I could do it. And I go, right. well, I can't catch a touchdown pass. So oh, I think okay. we're pretty good. Then I'll right? go back to this other pose. Okay, there you go. All right. <laughs> So you want to be able to feel something and still breathe. Okay. And that's key. Breathe. Okay. Got it. So this is going to open up deep glutes. Oh yeah. So okay. when they're running open. a lot, right? Open. <laughs> Definitely open. Yeah. And we stay upright because okay. then it opens hip flexor and quad on the opposite side. Especially if 
you've been doing a lot of squats, this would help, right? Oh, tremendous, okay. tremendous, yes. Okay, Huge. next move. All right, so this one, you're gonna come back onto your hands and knees. This one's called frog. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. You two might wanna face each other. Okay. See why in a second. Okay. So this is where uh, frog kind of puts into play my mental toughness training as well as flexibility and keeping okay. the hips open. So you're just gonna slide the oh, knees out as far oh, as really? you can. I don't know if I can do that one. Okay, as much as you can. <laughs> okay. You can, it's just what your frog looks like, okay. right? Yeah, it probably looks very right? bad. <laughs> so when no. we do this, we hold this uh -huh. five to 10 minutes. So this seems like a lot of stretching. Can you really burn calories doing this or is it more about just stretching? You can if you do it in a more vinyasa or power mm -hmm. style or you keep moving. Okay. But oh. um, as far as the athletes are concerned, <gasps> You gotta fake it by calm yeah. in the face, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So as far as the athletes are concerned, it's more about maintenance and rest restoration and keeping mm -hmm. them. Especially if you have been hitting the weights all week, this is a good way yes. to relax your muscles. Yes. Okay, so next can you imagine can you yeah. imagine, yeah. Can you yeah. imagine yeah. staying here five, ten minutes? No. Nope. That's, the that. okay. <laughs> That's the mental toughness. That's the mental toughness. I got you. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay next move, Gwen. All right, so now we're gonna do kneeling, which is called heroes in yoga, but we're gonna put a little twist on it and we're gonna okay. tuck the toes. Tuck the toes. So from a side view. Toes are tucked, and mm -hmm. you're gonna sit back. So you guys have oh, a little bit easier because you got so you got your yeah. sneakers on. Yeah, so. I'm gonna sit back. <laughs> right. What happens is um, playing on turf and mm -hmm. on even surfaces mm -hmm. sometimes creates Achilles tendon problems, oh, ankle yeah. tightness, uh, and players yeah. get a lot of plantar fascia problems, which is painful in the bottom of the foot. Right. So this opens up the toes, gives you more flexibility in the whole lower mm -hmm. part of the leg. So the more flexibility, the more push off and power that you have. That's okay. True. Right. And next pose is. Okay. So now we're gonna do. Something something completely different. Mm -hmm. Something that most athletes need, but they don't really exactly know why. Okay. With alignment, it's pretty easy to tell that you need to have open wrists, right? Because you're wrist. maybe defending a 350 yeah, pound especially guy. Especially if you're mm -hmm. falling, you want to be so able to have a strong exactly wrist. Okay. So every pose, essentially, at some point will fall, gotcha. right? And we want those wrists to be able to absorb that shock without blowing apart. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we're gonna come onto the hands and knees. This okay. can also be done in plank if you just feel like you want to rock it one day. Mm -hmm. Okay. But First of all, you gotta wipe that look off your face. Okay. <laughs> be happy. Yes, I'm being happy. Sorry. She, and that's how she handles she, these football was, players. Know, uh, that was a cross of stink uh, eye uh, and curiosity. Okay, I'm sorry. Sure I'm smiling now. Okay. Right. Okay. Gwen, I so, like you, Gwen. I know. So level one is you're just gonna go out 90 degrees. Okay. okay? And you want degrees. those wrists right underneath your shoulders. So okay. Bring it back just a touch. Okay. Equal space between the fingers. Okay. My right. brother and I used to play this knife game when we were yeah. little. Oh, right. So we want to spread. Aliens. Mm -hmm, I got gotcha. you. Spread those fingers out. Out, okay. You're opening up the flexors and, and extensors, right? Wow. Eventually, you're turning it oh, around on, 180 Gwen. degrees. Wow. And both okay. of them. Oh, okay. okay. And you're pushing the floor. Look at you. Now, with this. How often should we be doing Thanks, these stretches? Gwen. You could do them every day. Okay. You, yep. You could do them a couple times a day, depending on what your injury prone to do or it's your like, time mm. frames or what you just lifted. You know, if you just mm -hmm. did a heavy squat one yeah. day, you might want to sit and. All right. So, wait. So, what? Um, where can we take your classes, Gwen? So, um, I have a new studio in Portchester, New York. Okay. Studio 14. Congrats. And you could always contact me at GwenLawrence.com. You're and you also have a DVD series. Tell us about yes, that. Yes, I have a um, seven-part Power Yoga for Sports DVDs that mm -hmm. are uh, all sports-specific, from football to soccer to tennis and golf. Okay, and we can get those at your website as well. Yes, you can. All right. Can you do one of those cool, like, funky moves that they oh, yeah. do? Sure. Like, yeah. This one. Sure. Show us a little something well, as we wrap. that's not that bad right okay. there. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. so we'll, all right. we'll get the stretching as we... Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wow. Really, Gwen? Okay. Wow. I got you on that, Gwen. Okay. okay. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. Oh, don't break your nose. You have a pretty face. Oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> and you're watching yeah. Arise. You're Entertainment. Watching. Arise 360. Entertainment 360. <laughs> Good job.